Okay, for ear cleaning, I just have some run-of-the-mill ear cleaner you can get at Target on Amazon probably. Um, specifically dog ear cleaner though, obviously you don't want to use anything else. The most important thing to remember with ear cleaning is going to be using two different pads or cotton balls. Because if one ear has germs that are infected or a yeast infection or something like that, you don't want to take that from one ear and put it into the other. So we're going to do one at a time. Just put a little right onto the pad. Open up her ear. I am just, if you want to get in here, pulling any of the dirt and grime up out of the ear. So I'm not pushing anything down into her ear because that could cause her to get an ear infection. So I'm pulling any of the dirt out of the ear. I'm not gonna shove my finger down in there. I'm just gonna pull out enough to clean out everything around the ear canal. I'm gonna do the same with her other ear. Just pull her ear out to open up the canal. And then, ooh, this one's dirty, Stella. She has been rolling around in the dirt outside a lot. So we're just pulling the dirt out, 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 out. You don't wanna shove it back down in there. A little flap of flap, and you're good to go. All right, next we are going to brush her teeth. I just use a regular old human toothbrush that I got from the dentist probably that I don't use. Um, I like to use a soft bristle though, because um, you don't want to hurt their gums. So I just put a little bit of their doggy toothpaste. This is specifically dog toothpaste. I probably just got this at, at Target or a pet store, your local pet shop as well. Um, and then just want to lift up her <laughs> gum, or I'm sorry, her lips, and gently brush her teeth. You can pull back her little lips, get those back teeth, get the bottom teeth if she lets you, just in gentle little circles, just like when you brush your own teeth. Don't forget those little chiclets in the front. Okay, that was it. Good, that was delicious, right? Uh, and then I have this uh, fresh breath foam on hand. This is what I like to use. Uh, not all dog toothpastes are minty fresh. Some of them are like poultry flavor or peanut butter flavor. So I always use the fresh breath foam afterward and just put it on either side of their mouth and then they'll lick it all up eventually. So when you smell their breath again, it'll be minty fresh.